There he is, Mr. Jojo Bars himself, idling out. So it is my birthday, guys. John's got this cabin. He invited me out to come hang out, do a little dangling. I said, sure, man, I'll get the silver bullet. Uh, come on out. Fishing is tough right now, but uh, this lake is... I've just always had good luck in it. I, I like it. I like it for multiple species too, not just bass. So I'm putting the boat in the water and I already saw a few bass cruising. You know, water's probably about 90 degrees right here where I am, but lots of bluegill and in fact, beds. Bluegill beds, if you can believe it, right here in August. And not just little ones, I'm talking magnums. So I'm gonna try a little bluegill fishing. I've got the Gold Series Micro Rod, so these are made for panfish. I've also got the thousand size spinning reels, been using these for crappie. With the amount of bluegill that I'm seeing up shallow, there's always going to be bass in the summertime hanging around those areas. And marinas, docks are great places for that to happen. <sighs> Giving her a hot steamy dangle today, guys. We're just gonna see what is living around here. Now something fun that I like throwing just to catch anything is this uh, little saucy. Just swimming it around, it, it catches everything. Catch bass on it, catch bluegill, crappie, whatever. Since we have so many of these beds up here, I'm just gonna kinda swim this around, see what happens. See if we can get one of these big tank gills. Ooh, little one just tried to smack it. Get out my summertime friend here. Not the top water that's stuck to this rod. Oh, everything is just baking. So freaking hot. Peace. Got bluegill stolen right there. There we go. I don't know what this is. Big bluegill. Magnum. Oh my gosh, dude. Oh, it is a Magnum, man. That's definitely my PB for the year. Look at that. Just glued in the nose with that saucy. That is crazy. Mm -mm -mm. All right, we'll let you go. I was confused. I know it wasn't a crappie, but it didn't feel like a bass. Just big old tasty bluegies. I'll catch those all day. Oh, goodness. Mmm. Getting popped. It's tearing me up, man. They are good at doing that. Probably need to do a better job of letting them eat it. Used to those crappie thumps. You can see some of these things coming up at the surface and they're just huge. Oh my God, look at this one right here. Oh God. I'm literally, I'm stuck, but I'm looking at one that's a chief. It's a chieftain. Oh goodness. Mm-hmm. God, these are giants. I mean giants. Holy cow. Oh my gosh, bluegill, y'all. Running. Oh my gosh, this micro rod's perfect too. Look at the absolute behemoth size of these. Holy tater tots. I just want y'all to look at that size. Gosh, that is freaking massive. 
These are the biggest bluegill I've ever caught in a lake, y'all. Go get bigger, darling. Jeez. Wow, I let that one sink down a little bit. I mean, you could tell hooking those little fish with this rod is, it's a lot of fun. All right, I'm gonna try this chartreuse in black. I've done well with this color just in general. The bluegill seem to like pink a lot too. Got some straight pink ones I might try, but I'm, you know, I'm not even catching the fish that I thought I was going to. I thought I was gonna catch these ones that are on beds, but I threw over there and they, they were not attacking like I was hoping. So I'm just swimming these docks. There's one. Oh my gosh, another big bite. Just didn't let him take it. Probably took my tail. This little paddle tail on this thing is, it's thin plastic. It's designed to actually swim. You know, a lot of little swim baits you get this size, I mean, they're just not gonna swim at all. But God, that little tail kicking, that just seems to get them going. It's like every cast, I'm getting some sort of nibble. Yeah, I just got a bite right there, just tapping it. You know, my last Technical Tuesday video I was talking about this line that I'm using. You know, this is a 12 pound braid right here in that yellow color. And this is a perfect example because I'm fishing such a light bait that a lot of times when I pull it up, it's fallen, you know, on a slack and I'm looking for that twitch. I can a lot of times feel it in my rod, but I like it when I can see it happening. Oh, took the whole plastic. Ripped it up and then took it off the hook completely. Pink mini mondo, pink head. Let's see how feminine they want to be here. Catch those big fiends. Oh, first cast, absolutely. It's a lot to get in their mouth though. It's essentially like a grub. Uh -huh. Just letting it sink. Come here. You're not quite as big. <laughs> it's still a giant. The males will get that real red color on the chest. The females have more of these just bars. They're kind of duller colored. Still really nice fish. One on the pink. Man, I'm going through some plastics right here. I can fish, I can probably catch 15 crappie on one of these. But a bluegill? Nope, they're voracious. Little tiny banditos. Things as cute as a little spotted pup. Cute as a spotted pup, look at that little tiny buddy. Oh man, I'm telling you, there's a bunch of them. Boy, howdy. Yep, actually I think I saw that one on the scope moving towards my bait. Look at this fight. <laughs> Magnums, this might be the size right here. It dials them in. Oh my gosh. Hammers, hammers y'all. That is a big old male, male jaw. He's got a big old fat head on him. I mean, goodness, that is awesome. It's not just one, there's a bunch. Holy cow, this might be the deal here, this size. I've actually fished a lot on my birthday, going back many years. It's kind of like a pastime. Oh God, that one felt big. That one felt big, picked it up on the, on the drop. What I used to do anyway when I was younger is I would night fish and I caught my first smallmouth on my birthday 20 years ago at night on Lake Texoma. So we're gonna do a little bit of fishing here tonight in honor of that. Goodness gracious, there's just fish like sitting on the bottom that are huge. Oh my God. 
like saw him on the bottom absolute giant holy cow oh my god <laughs> best bluegill fights i've ever had guys this is a questionable boat flipper i'm not even kidding oh my gosh look at this thing holy cow this could be my biggest bluegill ever that is a wide-bodied mammer jammer holy cow this is one reason i really like purple fleck in a lot of my bass plastics it's because of that right there a lot of bluegill have that just dull little hazy purple in them i'm gonna throw this one in the well that one's worth a pick oh my gosh my gopro actually just says it, it overheated so i had to switch up cameras here Mm, 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 mm. That's got to be a bass. And he's got me caught. Don't break me off. There we go. This is a big bass. Oh, no. Don't do it. He's gonna come up on that other side a bit. Uh, he's gonna do his best to get me into something nasty. Maybe this is a big old catfish. There are several big old Are there? Okay. That might be what we got. Oh my gosh. Big old slimy one. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> it gave me a run for my money. No, don't take my net. Oh, man, I'm about to fillet this one. All right, let this fish go. It's not going to get you. My daughter, she's afraid of squids in the lake. She thinks they're squids. So <laughs> Finding Nemo got to her. I just saw the, the numbers of gills that are coming over there to eat the bread that that little girl's feeding them. They're all that big. They're huge. I was honestly expecting to get a bass right there because I threw in that, that little saucy and just put a fresh one on that was a little bigger and just thinking I might get like a real magnum bluegill and got bit and uh, went for an incredible ride on a spinning spinning setup. That was so much fun, but it turned out to be a big old catfish. And uh, I, have to, I have to tip my hat a little bit because that catfish was taking me into the cross member, trying to go up under the dock into the cables and I had to do a lot of steering there, a lot of angling. So I was able to get that thing back under the boat, position the boat over right on top of the fish where it couldn't go to either one too far and correctly play the drag with 10 pound test leader. Don't want to toot the horn too hard, but got to give it a little beep every once in a while. Okay, everybody's leaving to go wakeboarding it looks like. So the swarm of fish is back and open for me to fish. I'm gonna throw this swim bait in here and just get magnum. I'm just reeling it until, oh gosh, oh my. I mean, bluegill, not bass, that's crazy. Absolutely smoking it. 
Oh, this is gone. This is completely gone. Do you think that one wanted it? I don't even know what my PB is, but I'm probably just breaking it like multiple times right now. Just another bite. That one's got it. This little one, just, you know, just like an eight incher. Just like an eight inch, nine inch crappie, no big deal. Just getting throttled. They think it's bread. Oh. <laughs> twerking. Twerking on this reel, too. Oh, he's literally spitting up bread. Oh, yeah. In the juice. Just getting bing bonged. Oh, my. Get over here. Where are you going? Where are you going, piggin? God, what a fight, y'all. I mean, honestly, this is what makes it fun, is fishing it on light gear. Giant. <laughs> I can't imagine catching these like on a cane pole. I think I'm having more fun doing this than I would out there sweating, fishing on a ledge or something for some bass, but <sighs> it's all relative. I mean, the tug is the drug. No matter what it is, it's really about you know, how you're catching them, what kind of line, rod. These things are pulling drag, bending the rod over. It's never a bad time. Oh, you don't, don't go getting shy on me. Mm, God, you're big. God, wearing me out. Wearing me out on this, <laughs> this light rod. This is a big one. Oh God, giant. Oh yeah, giant. Oh my God, look at the magnum. <laughs> look at this, look at this rod guys. It is about to break the freaking rod. That is the biggest bluegill I think I've ever caught in my life. This thing looks like a cartoon character. Look at this. Are you kidding me? I could not have timed this any better. Yeah, I saw on the live scope, I was like, why is there so many just stacked right there? And then this little girl comes over feeding them bread. I think they had a giant, they had an entire loaf in seconds. I was like, oh, okay. That's why there's a lot of fish right there. Try a little chartreuse and black, see if we get something crazy. Sure, by now they're getting, getting used to it a little bit. Get on out of there, giant. Giant. Oh my God. Down the hatch. These look like tilapia. They're so huge. See ya. Little rigging shot, everyone. Everyone loves a good little rigging shot here. Just threading the swim baits for destruction. Go. Let's feed the trolls under here. The trolls under the bridge. Slow retrieve. One more. Give me the tap. Mmm. That's a little one. That's normally I'd be screaming saying, that's a giant! It's a giant bluegill, look at that. But this is by far the best bluegill fishing. I've ever had. You know, when I was a kid, I would go blue fish, bluegill fishing. I had like a telescopic cane pole that my dad gave me, and it was such a good fight. I'd use these little little worms that came in a little styrofoam cup. My dad would put me in the back of his Terry Bass boat, and I'd just dangle that thing and just have a good time with it. Get the occasional different species that would really tug but, oh my gosh, this just reminds me of that. <laughs> oh, man. You guys can't tell I'm having a good time on my birthday. I'm going to end on that one because it's such a giant. I could sit here and probably catch 100 of these. But don't want to wear out a good thing too bad.
stud. They're all studs. <sighs> mm. Not quite as sweet as the old green, green fish. Oh, thank you for that. Thank you for the tug. Well, happy birthday to me, because I just smacked the biggest bluegill that I've ever caught. Had the best bluegill fishing experience I've ever had. And it happened in about an hour. It was an hour of whacking them, guys. Um, especially fun on using the light tackle. I know many of you have asked about the crappie stuff. When is the crappie stuff coming? Most likely it's gonna be in the spring of 2023. We got a lot of stuff coming in 2023, but all the plastics are, I'm really proud of them. And I think you guys are gonna slay, not just crappie, but a lot of other panfish as well. I have kept an ultralight in my rod arsenal since I was a kid, essentially. Going back to a cane pole, it's just really fun, especially when you get in a situation like that where you can't really throw baits really small that are like on a bass spinning rod. You really need an ultralight, and it's just nice to be able to skip those things. And obviously the fight. The fight's a really good good time. And I mean, I caught a giant catfish on this thing today. It was just really, really fun. So go ahead and smash the like button, guys, and go smash some summer bluegills, man. I mean, these things were on beds still. It, totally shocking. So now I think I'm gonna move on and do a little bass fishing, see what kind of bass fishing uh, there is out here. But I'm gonna tell you what, if I don't get a bass bite, I'm going back to that dock. Don't forget to tell me happy birthday in the comments. Not because I wanna hear a happy birthday, just to get the algorithm boosted, get that baby revved up. And oh, I just wanna thank you guys for being here. I get to remember it, but I get to share it with all you guys too. So it's really fun. So special times, man. Love it on the water. Love the great outdoors. I will see you guys on the next one.